Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to give a little helping hand to some of the newer players that might be coming to check out the remodded beta. I'm going to show you how you can set up our custom launcher as well as download all the mod files and get everything going. I'll also bring you on a quick introduction uh, to some of the first features you'll see in the game and likely some of the common questions that you're going to have. Uh, so I do recommend checking out the video description below um, so you can gain access to our website, Discord, Patreon, etc. But also to see important links for uh, files that you might need depending on your Windows install. Um, so with that understood, uh, we are going to assume that you uh, have downloaded the d2rlaunch.zip file. Um, you can get that either from the Nexus post that you followed us from or from our Discord under the Read Me Please section. Uh, you're going to see a launcher install guide and download post with our video demo, download link, etc. all linked there. Um, so with that understood, again, uh, we've already downloaded that file. Once you open it, you're going to see a single folder called d 2 our launch. Um, you can drag this folder wherever is most convenient for you, whether that be your desktop with the rest of your Diablo 2 stuff or in an external drive, etc. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my desktop uh, for this example. Uh, so you can see here the main folders uh, on the desktop. And once opened up, there's three folders inside. Um, the only folder we care about is going to be the launcher folder. Um, the others are just accessed through it. Um, so we can go ahead and run d2rlaunch.exe to get things going. When you first run it, you're going to see a pop-up such as this that lets you know there's a new launcher update available. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click OK, let it do its thing. Um, that is one of the perks of this launcher is that it is self-updating, um, so it'll improve over time uh, and uh, make sure that you know can help you out there. Um, when you first boot it up, you should see something like this. Um, if, however, you got an error message with something about .NET, uh, or literally nothing at all happens when you run the EXE, then you might be missing the .NET desktop runtime that's required. Um, so again, you can check out the video description below for a link to that, or if you'd rather grab it manually um, for the latest version or whatnot, um, you can go to the Microsoft website, Again, look for the .NET desktop runtime and go ahead and download the 64-bit version here. Uh, if you're using a very old computer, you might need 32-bit, uh, but for most of you, it's going to be that 64-bit version. Go ahead and install that and uh, try the launcher again, and you should be good to go. Uh, so once you're back and you have that launcher open, uh, from the Mod Choice drop-down, you're just going to want to make sure that you go select the new option, which is Remodded, Download Only. You might see some of your other mods listed here as well, but for now we're just going to select that Download Only option for the Remodded Mod Files, and now we're going to download the Mod Files themselves. Now, while this is downloading, I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit about the launcher and kill some time. Uh, so, as you may have noticed, this is a, a kind of universal launcher that will work with any mod. Um, it also provides several additional uh, quality of life features and uh, just benefits um, to uh, using this program with those mods. Um, so, we can uh, there'll be a separate video on uh, explaining all those and, and taking benefit of it, etc. Um, for this video, we'll just show you how you can get going with the mod and uh, some of the common things you're going to run into. Um, so for now, uh, as we're waiting on these mod files, uh, just know that obviously the download speed is going to be depending on, you know, your actual internet connection and all that. Um, but the mod is a very large mod, uh, so it is expected if it's a little slower at times just with the file sizes and stuff involved. Uh, so it's just about finished up here. It's going to take a, a second or so to extract, and then we should see a pop-up that asks us to restart the launcher so it can load all those new files. All right, and there we go. So we got our confirmation message again. We're just going to press OK uh, and then restart the launcher. And now when we do, when we once more go to that mod choice drop down, we should now see a remodded option uh, with no kind of download only in parentheses. And when we select that, we'll notice the news icons, the news, all that updates itself. Um, and again, because this is a universal launcher, if the mod author has added support, um, then all that stuff will just change as you select mods along with all your settings. 
Um, when you first jump into the game, I do recommend selecting the remodded UI, um, just because it'll match better with this personal mod. But if you don't like it, you can always switch back to the standard interface. Um, I also recommend checking the respec option uh, so that you can use the in-game infinite respec uh, with a single button click. Um, so with those done, uh, you can feel free to explore some of our additional options. Um, we'll definitely, again, have another video on just this to make sense of it all. Uh, but you can do things like an enable some quality of life features, uh, change your font, auto backups, uh, change some visual display options, etc. Um, so assuming you've set everything how you like, we're just going to select play and hop right into the mod. Now we do have kind of like a skip intro and some custom loading screens, so hopefully it should load fairly quickly for you. Obviously, again, that's going to depend a lot on your computer, um, but you'll start seeing some of those custom changes right away. Um, so one of the first things I'd like to point your attention to is just the mod info link here. You can access this both on the main menu as well as in game by pressing escape. Um, in this menu, you're going to see a lot of the uh, overall changes we've made, the big changes. Um, you can scroll through that, use the drop downs to select some of, see some of the different options, some of the new stats we've added, etc. Um, and again, we have several tabs so you can see some of the different uh, item types, uh, itemization changes overall, things like that, all the new unique sets, rune words, etc. Um, same thing applies, obviously, monsters, levels, you get the drill. Uh, once in-game, uh, you're definitely going to be presented with a lot of different UI changes, uh, so just wanted to quickly run through some of those. Uh, one of the first things you might notice is that we have the expanded inventory, as well as a very different uh, stat screen that's been cleaned up quite a bit. Um, so advanced stats are now accessed through a scrollable, uh, toggleable option here, uh, so it no longer takes up so much of the screen space uh, while you may be trying to do things. Um, so you can feel free to, uh, you know, obviously use that or not as you wish. Um, and again, with the expanded inventory, that does apply also to the cube, which um, it's so large because we have uh, basically a lot of uh, future options to use many of these spaces. Um, and you also have an expanded stash. This does include all seven tabs that are automatically unlocked for you. Nothing you need to do there. Um, and we do also have a, another program we like to call the Vault uh, that allows you to store infinite items, essentially. Uh, so seven tabs uh, of this size isn't enough for you. Uh, then you, we have the Vault to, to cover you there as well. Um, one of the items you may have noticed um, in the inventory, actually I'm going to touch on that just a minute, sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the cube again. You may have noticed some of the new buttons here. Um, for quick access, we have two transmute buttons depending on where uh, the item gets placed, whether it's up in this corner or this corner, uh, just for quality of life perks so you can quickly uh, transmute. Um, but uh, more importantly, you might want to check out our cube recipes menu. Um, so you can access that here, check out all the different uh, recipes we have in-game. Uh, we do have a wiki with some of this stuff, but again, if you'd rather just have it right there in-game for you, um, you can use this, scroll through all the different stuff, um, and use that as you desire. And also another very important tab of this menu is the rune words section. So in this section, as you can probably tell, we have all the rune words listed with all the runes and stuff you need nicely organized uh, with the item types and stuff they support. Uh, you can also mouse over the uh, actual rune word and see the, all the stats that it'll come with. And these stats do include the runes themselves, um, so you'll have a good idea of what the final result will be. Um, just a quick touch on this, um, in our launcher's additional options, we have a special setting for the rune word sorting. Um, you can choose to sort this rune word menu by item type or required level, um, so that uh, if you prefer to just have it formatted differently based on your own preferences, you can do that. Um, it does require you to restart the game real quick, uh, but you can feel free to select those options and it'll remember them for future launches. Um, so with that out of the way, we'll take a quick look into our skill tree. Um, we have no more arrows on anything. Um, everything can be used as you want. Um, 
uh, without requirements and stuff, I mean, and you might see the giant skill preview button here. Uh, if you'd like, you can kind of preview some of the different skills and changes, decide on builds that you might want to try out or go with. Um, now, some of these are still in development or are slightly out of date. Um, they just take a while to do, but that stuff will definitely come in time. But feel free to use that as you want. Another important thing to note real quick is you can click the Respect Character button here, and it'll instantly reset your character. Um, you can do that as many times as you wish. Um, so with all the just common, uh, you know, interface changes and things like that out of the way, um, I just want to answer some of the quick questions that you might guys might have about uh, some things uh, that you'd be trying to do. Um, so obviously one of the first questions that you might have is about uh, upgrading, downgrading runes, stacking gems, uh, stuff like that. Um, we use a completely different system in our mod for handling all that, uh, which I think you guys will really grow to love. Um, but essentially if we go to our custom NPC here and we go to the miscellaneous section, you can start seeing a lot of the custom items we have. Uh, importantly for this discussion, you have the storage bag, the quality of life storage bag that you can purchase. Uh, you can ignore all the values in the stats, but it does give you an idea of all the different things it's going to hold. Um, so this will store all your gems, runes, keys, organs. It'll also act as a way to extract uh, unique and set cores from unwanted unique and set items. Um, so just a big quality of life improvement there. Again, um, all you need to do to actually use it to deposit things is put your runes, your gems, whatever, into the cube with the bag and go ahead and transmute and it'll deposit everything in there. Um, to get your items out, we have special removers. Um, so you can see here's an amethyst remover, here's an L remover. Obviously you got your keys and organs, things like that as well. Um, you can just purchase the remover you need, and you can simply cube it with the bag to remove that particular thing. Um, so all gems are kind of equal once they're in the bag, and they're all basically perfect gems. Um, so you can just uh, select what you'd like here, and it's going to take out a perfect gem of that type for you. So if I were to hit transmute, I would get one perfect amethyst out of the bag. And if I want to change the gem I'm trying to take out, I can simply transmute the remover alone, and it'll change to a topaz, a sapphire, etc. Um, so you can control it how you want like that. Um, and the same thing applies for removers. The only difference with removers is they do work on a point value. Um, now that point value is based on uh, basically the times two upgrade or downgrade recipe. Um, so a L point or an L, L, yeah, can't talk. L remover is low points minus one. Uh, so obviously then an L remover is low points minus two because it would cost two times L's to upgrade to an L. So there is no more upgrading or downgrading. Um, you simply deposit all the runes you want in it. If you have enough points based on that times two upgrade recipe, then you can extract uh, the rune you need right away. Um, this is especially useful if you happen to get a lucky drop like let's say Zod rune or something. Uh, it gives you enough points to make several valuable rune words um, without needing to trade or worry about downgrading 58 times, etc. Um, so feel free to use that as you want. Again, it works the exact same way. Uh, you can transmute it alone to change what it removes, and you can also use the converter in the shop to change between low, mid, and high points, um, depending on, you know, what you need. So, again, you'll get used to the bag. You can do direct charm and jewelry rolling from it uh, that uses gems directly from the bag. Um, you can craft new, unique, and set items. Uh, I think you guys will grow to like it. Uh, another question you might have is just about uh, masteries that you see on skills. Um, everything, every skill has a mastery bonus. Uh, this is a special bonus that is applied once you reach max level in the skill. Um, so this might incentivize you to um, push uh, something to max level instead of just using it as a one-point wonder or something like that uh, because maybe that mastery bonus is really beneficial to you um, but it also just allows you to free up your build options a little more in the future um, as you can kind of min and max how you want uh, depending on where you put your points. 
Um, with that said, you'll see a lot of new um, just general skills options. Uh, everything could be cast in town. Uh, we have new waypoints, uh, some going directly to cows, so you can get beat up by the king as soon as you walk up into it. You can also just use the leg as normal if you want to take the safe route, and you'll see various uh, things like that involved with our mod. Um, so this is just a quick introduction. We're definitely going to have individual videos on a lot of the stuff that'll explain more in detail. Um, so check out our new player videos section in the Discord. Um, but I hope this was a quick, quick introduction and explanation to get you going, and uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoy the mod. Bye!